Namaste friends. Uh, some of the ginger growers have asked me to give some uh, brief about uh, usage of mepiquot chloride uh, in their ginger cultivation. So there were very few research reviews and uh, there were very few farmers uh, who have used mepiquot chloride. So actually mepiquot chloride is one of the plant growth regulators uh, to be to be precise it's basically a growth retardant so generally uh, it was widely used in uh, cotton earlier days there were uh, uh, two products uh, which were launched uh, one from BASF and another one from Garuda chemicals so the, the BASF product was uh, named as PIX the Gerda chemicals named uh, this mepiquot chloride formulation as uh, Chamatkar. So it was actually mepiquot chloride 5% aqueous solution. That's the actual formulation. <coughs> In this video, I will just uh, try to clarify what it is, uh, whether it is beneficial to use in ginger cultivation, and what is the mode of action, and uh, how it has to be used. So as I already mentioned, it is a growth retardant. As the name suggests, it retards the growth. So it will be uh, used to suppress the excessive vegetative growth, which will take a lot of photosynthates. So which ultimately uh, is at the cost of uh, reproductive or uh, reproductive uh, behavior or uh, the yield, what we say per se. So generally it can be used as a foliar spray. So in case of ginger, uh, it can be used, no doubt about it. In potato it is being used, in uh, onion it is being used, in onion for bulb uh, size enhancement and ultimately yield increase. Similarly in potato for uh, tuber development and to ultimately increase the yield it is being used widely. And similarly, it can be used in ginger cultivation as well, but not at the very early stages. We are not supposed to use uh, in, uh, at least up to six months in case of ginger. So the ideal uh, age of the crop to use uh, mepiquot chloride is at least six months. So only one to two sprays are advised. So that formulation, uh, mepiquot chloride 5% uh, a quay solution can be used up to 2.5 to 3 ml per liter so uh, a two maximum of uh, two sprays and one would be all right no issue so it is basically a gibberlin uh, inhibitor so gibberlic acid uh, it's one of the growth regulators that will contribute for uh, cell enlargement cell elongation and plant height enhancement it actually works exactly opposite to gibberlic acid that is it is basically gibberlic acid uh, inhibitor or it suppresses the endogenous uh, production of uh, gibberlic acid so right now it is available in uh, uh, two formulation as per my knowledge sorry two companies that is one is garuda chemicals the trade name is chamatkar the other one is from basf uh, uh, that's what uh, and, and generally some people are growing ginger in uh, coconut gardens or coconut gardens where uh, the plant height is uh, really a concern it, it tends to grow uh, very tall because under light under limited light uh, the plants tend to produce more leaves and they become more lanky and more taller to control that excessive vegetative growth it's more appropriate to use but a lot of uh, uh, research needs to be done so to address some of the issues raised by the farmers more importantly so will there be any impact on shelf life of ginger uh, when we use this uh, mepiquot chloride okay and another uh, concern was whether uh, the sprayed crop that the produce from that crop can be used for the purpose of seed so again uh, some research is really required and uh, based on the preliminary observations and some filler trials conducted in farm, uh, farmers fields the last two seasons it was uh, worthy to note there was a definitely there is increase in uh, uh, size of the ginger 
uh, both in length and breadth and also the weight per plant that is yield per plant is also increased uh, okay so it's only indicative it's not uh, supported by a solid research definitely in the time to come uh, some research will be done keeping this in uh, our mind so to address the concerns and uh, issues raised by the uh, growers and uh, interestingly in some fields post uh, application of this mepiquot chloride there was a uh, the, the, the crop has become more greener so of course uh, when i gone through the reviews uh, there was an increase in uh, chlorophyll content in many of the crops <coughs> whenever they have used this mepiquot chloride and as i already mentioned it works exactly opposite to that of uh, gibberellic acid so it will reduces the plant height it will uh, reduces the internodal length so it increases the light use efficiency by the crop and more interestingly the sink uh, in case of ginger it is uh, rhizome the underground portion in potato it is tuber of course in onion in bulb the sink volume will be increased so thereby so sink uh, you know it, it the, the the photosynthates uh, that the translocation so and the, will be more towards the sink than to the source that's how it increases the yield or reproductive behavior so and, and uh, in a moisture stress or in a drought situation uh, the mepiquot chloride sprayed crop uh, is little bit advantageous as it reduces the uh, transpiration rate that is water loss from the crop so in that context it is little bit advantageous uh, it is basically systemic in nature in the sense once you spray the mepiquot chloride it gets enter uh, into the plant system through the leaves then it will reach uh, the entire plant pot so but but the when, when if you spray very early in ginger uh, it it will uh, it will see that the crop matures uh, very fast okay so if there is a distinct market advantage so if there is very high price we want to uh, make the crop uh, mature very fast in that context can be a good try of course definitely a lot of research is required in this connection so and also it it can address the issue of lodging so in several crops so the plant will be more uh, erect or there will be better uh, light uh, penetration to the deeper layers of the crop canopy and interestingly uh, it it also increases the nutrient uh, accumulation uh, especially in uh, the sink and, and another interesting point is uh, wherever they have used maybe pot chloride there was a slight increase in uh, calcium content in the leaves and shoots and calcium being a signaling molecule may be interesting to explore its uh, relationship uh, with respect to uh, the biotic uh, stresses or abiotic stresses so maybe we could expect some reduced uh, disease load so looking into the reviews but nevertheless some research is required i request uh, some progressive or some interested uh, farmers to do a small trial this season so if your ginger crop is 6 months old so you can start using for at least uh, for few beds uh, around 3 ml uh, 2.5 to 3 ml uh, mepiquot chloride 5% uh, aqueous solution a uh, foliar spray at 6 months and at 7 month so you can and there will be some uh, unsprayed area also we can have some control so we can concretely say uh, the effect in relation to increased yield uh, and definitely the quality and other issues if you have any queries in relation to this mepiquot chloride usage you can come back to me write to me so that's all so thank you very much